these are the ruins? You weren't joking when you said it was a hike. Yes. This is where our ancestors are said to have once lived. Our true roots lie here, dating back to an age far older than our village. Your roots? The duty that we cleave to, the weapons and technologies that we wield, they all stem from this place, Old Sajita, our ancestral home. These days, however, it's little more than a nest for monsters. Uh. Are you afraid, son? You're gonna be chief of the village someday, isn't that right? I guess so. That is what Grandpa Sirius and all the other grown-ups say. But my dad does not seem too happy about it. He doesn't? Mind you, I have no doubt that my boy will one day be a strong and wise leader for our people. And I couldn't ask for more. As the man so blessed as to take our elder's lovely daughter as his wife. But as father to my son, I don't want him to grow up feeling bound by the expectations of others. Hmm. I would have him see the world outside, learn and experience many things, and find his own path in life. That's the advice I would give him, from one man to another. But what about the duty of the Sajita? My people value their duty. But will my boy always feel the same? Must he? If my son has experiences, sees things that cause him to question our duty, I don't think this would be such a bad thing. Of course, if his reasons for doing so were half-hearted, I'd have no choice but to oppose him as a Sajita. <laughs> but if he held his beliefs strong and was willing to fight, to sacrifice himself for them, no matter who opposed him, I would want to accept those beliefs. Not as a Sajita, but as his father. Papa, shouldn't we get back to the village? I was supposed to be on lookout duty. And so you were. I suppose that's the end of my tour then. What? You're not showing us all the way through the ruins? This is as far as we'll go today. I just wanted Procyon to see this place with his own eyes. At least once. I will do what I can to dissuade the Elder from firing the SP cannon before you return. But you should hurry. Thank you, Mr. Lotus. You've been a great help. I wonder if Father felt the same way. Procyon's lucky to have such an open and understanding father. Yes, very lucky indeed. Alright, let's go explore. This place looks amazing. Oh. Can go through the walls. Whoa, this wall. You can walk right through it. You're right. Looks just like any other wall. If you try to touch it, there's nothing there. A oh, lavash. What a remarkable technology. But, what would they use it for? Maybe for like, a dressing room or something? Well, yes, no one would see you, but why not just use a door? I've got it. To stop short-tempered people from banging on the walls when they're annoyed with their neighbours. <laughs> we couldn't just walk through and start shouting at their neighbours to their face? Maybe it's uh, to make you feel safer, you know? Even at these... heights? I don't know. Fake walls don't make me feel any safer to be up here. If you're that scared, why don't you just say so? Anyway, I suppose the fake walls are just to foil with interlopers, like us. That's harsh, Tiz. Harsh, but probably true. Yep. Well, I did quite a bit of grinding. Um, let's look at the team quick. So everyone's like 45, 44. Uh, I put Magneto to the Valkyrie class now, because I've got the ninja to level 8, and I've got a few things I wanted to get. And uh, now we are good. Can we... Oh, we got underneath this, and then... Ha ha! There we go. Make sure none of these walls are fake. Okay, we're gonna be weak to. I want to say frost. And a little bit of a uh, 
exploration, try to your week two, let's just go three. Frost and then maybe a soil. Try these two. Nope, no idea. Go for an exam and just to find out what you're weak to. Oh, Lubu's spear looks great. Light, that's weird to lightning, okay. I wasn't expecting that. And damn, he did so much damage to Tiz. Let's just, uh, four times with some lightning. Ooh, that enemy is pretty tough. When I was grinding as well, like I said last episode, like I said, I'm probably grinding that forest. I did. And oh my god, the amount of money I have gone. It is redonkulous. Let's quickly kill you up. Yep, I have a hundred thousand. A little bit more, but I uh, obviously I spent some to buy some equipment for like Magnolia. So where am I going? This place looks confusing. Can I go that way? But let's quickly turn encounters off so I can find out where to go. I'm kind of confused right now. I can't go down that way unless we can get that chest for a wall, maybe. Okay, this place is oh. There you go. That's so seriously confusing. Visible path. What? Is this an invisible floor? You, you're right. What in the world? First wall you can walk through, now a floor we can't see? This place is just full of surprises. The Sagittarius must have had really advanced technology to make something like this. This is amazing. I'd just love to study the properties that make it invisible to the human eye. Huh? Wait, you. You're okay with this? I mean, it's like we're floating way up in the air. Like we're what? Wait, what? Ah, get me down from here! <laughs> Grab that. I don't want the wall. You slip right through. Oh, whoops! Too late. Somebody save me! I don't want to die. <laughs> Just calm down. Walk backwards carefully, and feel around with your hands and feet. <laughs> I had no idea you could uh, moonwalk you. Oh god! Oh, a crystal here. That would lift that up though. But I don't want to do that just yet. I could potentially walk across that. We want to hit the red one so we can... Yeah. Luckily I didn't hit the green one. Red cheese! Oh no, we do need to do the green one so we can walk back around, because how, how else would we uh, get back on top? So we lower this. We're going to hit it again on the way back. So, and then that box for a tent scene down there. Yeah, looks kind of weird from the uh, the back. But now I've got a Valkyrie class. I am feeling pretty good because Valkyries are just so good, man. Well, they weren't really default anyway. Hmm. Everyone, take a look at this tablet. There's something inscribed on it in my language. Or rather, the language of the Sagitta. It looks really ancient. The words are completely worn away in places. I'll translate the bits that I can read. Let's see now. Spatio temporal compass? That sounds an awful lot like the compass Professor Norrison was talking about. That's as much as I can read. The rest is illegible. Don't worry about it. There may be other tablets in better condition. Let's find them. Alright, so this is a little tent scene. You, what's the hold up? 
Uh, okay, okay, it's it's ready. <clears throat> First up is roast chicken breast in garlic butter sauce. Ooh, that sounds good, especially with rice. Second is a ginger glazed pork tenderloin with extra gravy. Très magnifique! A true feast! I also made whitefish marinade with red peppers and spicy cucumber pickles. That sounds absolutely heavenly. With a bowl of rice on the side. Yep, I'll definitely be wanting rice with that. Make mine an extra large, please, Chef. Uh, uh about that. Come on already, I'm starving! Bring on the rice! I don't have any. <laughs> Enough joking around already. I'm serious. No rice. Are you out of your mind? What do you mean, no rice? You make all those dishes that go perfect with rice, and you forget to boil any? Well, I didn't forget. We just didn't have any in the stores. Then why didn't you buy some, you dummy? I checked before I went to the market, and we had plenty, I swear. The sack was nearly full. The pourquoi? Oh. When Magnolia cooked the other day, remember? Rice on rice with a side of rice. Right. Idia kept asking for seconds and thirds and fourths. Well, excuse me for appreciating a good meal. Anyway, let's see how you did. <laughs> oh, wow, garlic butter sauce? Mm. Mm. Oh, so good. This ginger pork, oh la la, it melts in the mouth. The red pepper marinade is great. Sweet, and sour, and tart. Oh, and look at this. Whole garlic cloves in the pickled cucumbers. Amazing. It is good, isn't it? Okay, so there's no rice, but I baked croissants. Pardon me, Master Yu. Would you have any Gatlatio Dijon? Okay, then. Can we go for this wool? Yes, we can. That chest by the entrance, I need to find a way to get that at some point. I still need counters back on as well. Now that there's invisible floors. And I walked one step. Ah, little moth butterfly looks pretty nice. Hoping this would kill them both, but oh well, okay, it's fine. No, you chump everyone, damn. Oh, that chump can get really annoying. Gonna heal up, thanks, Tiz. I saw you. I end up killing myself because of this charm. I don't want this is weak charm, I want to assume frost. Oh, yeah, heat. Nope, at least he's dead now. Oh, my goodness. That battle. Not nice. Maybe we can walk here to the 
chest from here. I assume these guys are weak to uh, lightning, hopefully. Maybe, we'll see. Lightning needle. Touch me a couple of times. I'm not going to go for that. Valkyrie's level 3, sweet! We got Spear Law. That's fine, okay. Uh, let's go up this way. I've missed a chest. That's going to go to that chest. Maybe that chest could be like the best thing in this whole... whole place. I can probably get there as well. Yeah, I can go this way. Alarm earrings, I assume. I want to assume they stop you from uh, going to sleep. Or they wake you up or whatever. Thousand five hundred peach. See, not bad. Kind of worth it. If I was short two thousand five hundred peach, trying to buy something, I would have been kicking myself right now if I knew I missed that chest. I just put that on the spider web That's where you can run across. That wall there. Oh, okay, you probably go from one above. This place is really cool. I like this place. So, same thing again. What I'll do is hit the green one. Wait, yeah. Wait a second. I just did this wrong. Because I can't get back through, can I? Unless. Must be. An invisible wall somewhere. It's gotta be. So, how, how else would you do this bit? This place is kind of confusing. How? How do this bit here? Let's just go back and go this way. Now that leads all the way back there. Oh, here we go. So I'm starting to think, maybe we can go... Yes, there we go. Just gotta look out for the, uh... Spider's webs. Not there, though. Wait, is that the only one? Okay, um... Can't get through there. Can we go down? 
So was there a spider's web in this area? Actually, I'm very confused on how I do this bit here. Because without an invisible platform, I don't know how to, how to get across. Unless we can go... <gasps> ah! There you go, you can go around there. That's how you do it. Damn invisible platforms. That one has like no... Like spider web to let you know there's a... Invisible platform. There you go. And we got this. Look, another tablet. Let's see what I can read. That's where the inscription ends. So somehow, the compass eventually found its way to Ansheim. All these years and years later. It's interesting, for sure. But I don't think it's going to help us save Agnes. Right. What we need now is a way to get to the Skyhold. There may be tablets with more useful information. Let's keep looking. Alrighty then. I see this place again. Even more. What the? How do, where do I go here? Is that like a dead end? I definitely can't go up or around. Okay. I see this place again. Even more confusing soon. Grab that. How do we get the that chest though? That's how we get back here, okay. Maybe we should go down and up. somewhere. I love and hate these invisible platforms at the same time. And it's really cool like solving this puzzle but it's really annoying at the same time thinking which way do I go? Okay, I want to try and head down the stairs were around here. There they are. Go up the stairs, we can go forward, or we'll go up. Get the chest we missed. There we go. Trident. Ooh. That's good. I have the Valkyrie. It's a better than Lubu's spear. See, now I'm starting to think I should have the ninja's ability on it too. Physical defense goes down. But then if I go. Ability. Let's get rid of these two. I want to keep more money, because obviously, not spear law. Go wield weapons in each hand with no loss in power. So that should. Yeah, there we go. Now we should do a butt turn damage with two spears. Plus, these two spears look so great to get, like, Lubu's spear and the trident. I 
can't get that to go this way. Oh wait, no. How do, we... How do we get to that one? No idea. <laughs> Let's definitely get this one. Oh, I think I have to go to the other side for that one. I'm gonna imagine anyway on this side. Okay, so what are we doing here? That will lower that. Get the blue one lowered first. Okay, I think the idea here is to get the red one up and get back across. The save point guy there as well, so we're getting pretty close. So before we raise the red, we'll quickly uh, grab that chest. And the save point guy should really count as backup to get to a few battles on the way. If you grow one or two levels. Oh, they look so weird. Okay, so. Don't they're weak too, so I'm just gonna go for. Frost Blast and a. Tornado Blast? Your weak two guns. And I'll just default with his. Okay, it does no damage. Though we've got lightning though. And they're both weak to tornadoes. Ah, it made me flee. Okay. Gives me a chance to heal up then, I guess. How do we get to that? I think we need a bit higher for that, right? This tablet says... He was still so young. And yet, this isn't gonna help us fly to the Skyhold either. Hold it together, you. Nobody likes a whiner. Yes, ma'am. The Buster Ship? Could that be? We're moving on, Magnolia. This story is getting tense. Alright, let's go not that way. This way? Yeah. Can we run across this to get some stuff? So I assume after we talk to the save point guy, it's gonna be a boss battle. Right, these guys are weak to lightning and then those top to are weak to uh, tornadoes, so. Let's kill them first, because they're gonna make me run away. There you go, much better damage. I wish he'd have to come out as after though. Oh, that's still alive? Little buggers! Don't kill Magnolia! What? What? What are you. What are they weak to that? Oh my god, I don't want to run away. I don't want to use up any more magic, I need to just keep encounters off. I hate those little white things. Yeah, such a pain in the butt to beat. But I think if we go this way and get that chest we missed. The ancient bow. The only chest I don't know how to get is the one over there. Huh. If we go down. 
down around. Okay, hopefully boss time. This seems to be a record of the many inventions Altair was responsible for. This whole list? This Altair guy must have been a real genius. What do you think, Magnolia? Is there anything useful here? Well, let me see. Soft-boiled egg cooker, pressure cooker, sewing machine, safety razor, I suppose this section is all household goods? Stethoscope? Anesthetics? Artificial limbs? Microscopes? These must be his contributions to medicine. The suspension bridge? Windmills? Water wheels? Threshing machines? Furnaces? Dock designs? Sailing vessels? Cruise ships? My, my. Gunpowder, small firearms, automatic weapons, torpedoes, armored vehicles, battleships. I feel like we're getting warm here. <gasps> here, what about this? The airborne battleship Sagittarius. Airborne battleship? He invented that too? That's what it says. And also that it was newly deployed to old Sagitta. If we can get our hands on this battleship, we can get to the Skyhold! Let's return to the village and see if Mr. Lotus knows anything about it. Huh. I was honestly expecting a boss battle. Uh, so... I guess let's just uh, teleport Stone out. I was kind of looking forward to a boss battle to be honest. And we have to get all the way out to the village. But we'll do that next time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you then. Have a great day. Peace.